My name is Dr. Isadora Guggenheim, and I am the proud owner of Second Nature Naturopathic Care. I am a naturopathic doctor, and what naturopathic doctor means is that there is all the wisdom over thousands of years using wisdom from nature, and then also combining that with evidence-based medicine, which would be modern technology or lab tests, combining those two things together to assist patients in their healing. We always, I always like to say that I don't heal patients, but I help them to, to find their innate wisdom in their body so that they can make life changes and that can bring them to their full potential as a human being and can also heal their body from different uh, issues and conditions. And I've been in practice since 2003, so over the last nine years. I've helped about 3,500 people uh, in assisting them. I call myself a paid guide. And the wisdom that I can tell to, or give to teenagers uh, today is that in terms of um, being an entrepreneur, I think it's about following your path, you know, having a connection or a passion to what you want to do, uh, and knowing too that that might change or how you first see it may not be how it finally actualizes. Uh, I was a dancer and came to New York with a choreographic fellowship initially in 1983. I pursued a dance career and then made a changeover into being a massage therapist. And I had a successful massage therapy practice for about 16 years, uh, along with completing my pre-med uh, prerequisites. And then in 1999, I um, entered medical school at University of Bridgeport for the next three years. I think also being an entrepreneur, you have to be very dedicated to uh, what your focus is. You have to be willing to take a risk. If you can't take a risk, then you're not an entrepreneur. Then you're better off just working for someone and you know honing your skills differently. But you have to be willing to take a risk. You have to have a fire in your belly uh, and you have to stay the course with your commitment. Um, I like to say that life is like three C's. One is challenge, that you see life as a challenge. Uh, the second C would be that you're committed to it. And the other C would be control, that you know someone may tell you to, how to do something or you may have to answer to a state board or you may have to answer to your patients or whatever it is that you're doing, but you decide and determine how you're going to do that. In other words, you fulfill your obligation, but you're setting the terms as to how. So we've got challenge, control, commitment, and the last C I would say is compassion. I think that we have to have compassion in whatever we choose to do, whether you are um, a, a house cleaner, or you are a doctor, or you're a lawyer, or you're a retail clerk, Compassion is very big on my list, and there is a saying that we need to live our life with two parts being grateful and one part love. So I'm always grateful, and I go through that list of what I'm grateful for each morning uh, when I wake up. I also think about my patients and how I can help them, and maybe where I might fall short, I accept my limitations. And if I have a limitation, I'll refer to someone who I know can fulfill uh, that piece that someone might need. So I think it's it's being based in reality as well is important to be an entrepreneur. And that involves integrity. I think integrity is key. You, if you, you have to have your own personal integrity and then you have to have that commitment of your personal integrity and professional integrity. If that is not there, uh, then there's usually you know a problem with running the business so that that's a very key ingredient to me and also to know what your strengths are and how you can do outreach how you, how can you affect people uh, sometimes people might be afraid to come to me because they'll think that I'm going to say well you can't have dairy or you can't have gluten or this or that one of the first things I say to patients when I first meet them is don't change your diet and immediately all of that 
tension and anxiety, you know, wears away. And what I will then do is pursue to see whether they have immediate or hidden food allergies. And if they do have these allergies, then we have a different discussion. But I need to gain their trust and I need to work with them so that they feel comfortable. None of us usually make changes overnight. We don't usually do radical changes unless we're compelled to. Uh, and even then, I think it's important to take things step by step. And I always believe in what I call reality-based change so that it has a permanence to it. My patients lose between 35 and 90 pounds and they keep it off permanently because we don't rush into it. We don't do what, what's called weight loss. Uh, but we find the hidden barriers to the reason why they're not losing weight, whether it's an adrenal uh, dysfunction underneath or a thyroid issue or even a hormonal imbalance. And so once we make these corrections one by one, then people lose weight effortlessly. You know, if they are allergic to a specific food, once they remove that food, typically 35 to 40 pounds come off no effort. So I believe in the path of least resistance. I don't think that you, you know, uh, I don't agree with no pain, no gain. I think that um, people have to come around about it in a more gentle way, and I'm here to support that. And how do I change, um, how do I make effective change? Well, as in what I've just been talking about, I think it's accepting where someone is on that continuum and not judging them and accepting them. So if they come in and they say that they eat six bags of Doritos each day and they're not going to give that up, I accept that at that moment in time. Or if they come in and say that they have an alcohol attachment, at that moment in time I accept them for who they are and then little by little I you know, try and plant seeds and help them to make changes that are going to be in the better interest of them. But if until they believe that better interest of them, um, you know, I allow time and the change to happen uh, in, a, in an organic progression. But I do know that I make a effective change with people. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Is that